In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of Amen. this opportunity. You are talking about this morning once again. We glorify Amen. your name because you are Lord of Lords, King of King, the mighty one in battle. We thank you, Lord, because you never change. Thank we thank you, Lord, because of your mercy upon us every time. Mm-hmm. Father, once again, we are here this morning. We pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ as we come to present ourselves before you. You will visit us in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Oh, mighty mm-hmm. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ as we come. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every one of us, we will see your hand in our life, in Jesus' name. Amen. And by the, by the time we shall meet again, Almighty Father, maybe on Thursday or individually, we pray our mouth will be full of testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. For those people who are still planning to join, for those people who are even forgotten, we pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit will perfect everything, and everyone, or every one of them will be online in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, O oh Lord, because you are the Lord that answers you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Because of whom he is. Let's glorify Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Let's thank him because of all what he has done in our life and what he will continue to do. Let's thank him because he has never left us alone, and he will not leave us alone. Let's look back. Let's look at all what he has done for us in the past. Let's look at what he is doing in the present. He is worthy of our praises. He is worthy of our praises. Praising. 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 The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the mighty one in battle. He has never left us alone. He will not leave us alone. Praising. Worship the King. I'm going to be there for you. Worship him. Glorify him. Mighty one in the bottom. The one that is. Let's say that we are going to be back to you. So you'll be the same. My dear brother, my dear sister, in the Lord. If God can open your eyes. You will find it difficult to sleep. Yeah, you kiss me at the see every battle God is conquering for you. Every minute, every hour, every day. You will find it difficult to sleep. But you have never lived alone. You know, that's why you need to open your mouth and pray the name of the Amen. We pray. Amen. Let us look from Psalm 103. We are still praising the Lord. We are still worshiping the Lord. Because we need to be we need to be we need to be to show gratitude unto God. For how he has helped us as the year is about to end. How the Lord has given us victory. How the Lord has given us uh, success. How the Lord has answered our prayers. So please open your Bible. I believe we are with our Bible over there. Open your Bible to Psalm 103. Psalm 103. I want somebody to help us to read from verse 1 or 2 to verse 8. Who is there? So I first read from verse 1, all through to verse 8. Psalm 103, verse 1, all through to verse 8. Are we with our Bible? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Who is there? Who is there that will, that will read for us? I read. Okay. 
All right, thank you, sir. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that within me. Bless His holy name. Yes, I can. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He makes known his way to his act unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and faithful. I'm going to give you 15 on Monday. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'll get 95 on Monday. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. 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 Okay. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mm. If we, we look back and we try to recall the benefits of the Lord over our lives, we should, be, we should show gratitude mm. unto our God. The benefit of, his, of, of, of the gift of life, bless mm. the Lord. The benefit of his protection over your life, we need to bless the Lord. The benefit of his great deliverance in our soul, we need to bless the Lord. The benefit of his liberation, liberating us from the past of darkness, we need to bless the Lord. The psalmist is telling us this morning, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. So you, we are going, you are going to lift up your voice once again. You are going to appreciate him. You are going to thank him. You are going to bless him for all what he has done for your life. Open your mouth and show the gratitude unto our God. Give him the praise. Give him the honor. In the Alpha and the Omega. The I am that I am. The rock of ages. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Give him the glory for all what he has been doing in your life. Give him the glory for all what he has been doing in your family. Lord has most disappointed you. Lord has most paid you. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, for your love. God is good to God. God has lost your name. God has lost your name. I want, to, I want you to know that before Jesus Christ left, Jesus told his disciples, as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. I have not told us that every man that has his hope in him, he purifies himself, even as he is pure. He purifies himself, he said, you are going to pray. As the coming of the Lord is getting close, getting near, you are going to pray, oh God, purify my heart, purify my thoughts. Because he purifies himself, he is able to open your mouth and pray. 
the God purify you this morning. Bless your heart this morning. Approach you this morning. That you are expecting the opening of the door. Every man that has his opening. He purified his earth into the door. Are you poor in more for heaven? Are you righteous and more for heaven? Are you holy and more for heaven? Are you spotless? Be purified in there. Oh, your mother pray that God will purify you. The blood of Jesus will purify you. And in that, as you are born in Him, you are the hope of life to purify yourself. Are you expecting the glory of the Lord? Is it a purification that you know? Are you waiting for Jesus to arrive in heaven? Oh, you will purify yourself, purify yourself, purify yourself, because you are expecting the coming of the Lord. But you pray, ask the Lord to fill you, to cleanse you, to purify you. This morning prayer is the prayer this morning. It's a prayer to be us for heaven. To be us for eternity. All upon the name of the Lord. The blood of Jesus to sanctify you. Purify you. Purify you. If you not seek it pure, but I shall call upon the Lord, ask the Lord, O Lord, purify my heart, O Lord, purify my thoughts, O Lord, purify my spirit, and be the end of the coming of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord of Jesus, purify you this morning. Pray and thank the Lord. Don't put anything on it. Okay. 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 I want you to put more Z on this prayer point, on this prayer request. Because if we, if we gain the whole world through our prayer, through deliverance, through liberation, and we lose our soul, what mm-hmm. should we, we, we profit us? And it's why we need to get our step in preparation. This prayer is preparation for the coming of the Lord. We are going to pray. The Bible says, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, also of wood, and some to honor, and some to dishonor. If a man therefore shall pour himself to eat again, where we read the first time, purified himself. This other place, if a man therefore shall pour himself, you need to pour yourself. From this, it shall be a person who no, are going to pray. No, and talk you. to God in prayer that God should pour you, mm-hmm. pour your heart, no, pour your thoughts, pour your spirit, pour your mind. Open your mouth and pray as you have to pour you. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. Pour yeah. you. your language. Pour your thoughts. Pour your imagination. Let the blood of Jesus pour you this morning. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you this morning. Let the blood of Jesus Christ come and walk upon your life this day. If a man therefore has pour in sin, you need to pour yourself. The pastor will not put yourself, will not put you. Your wife cannot put you. Your author cannot put you. You should do it your own self. If a man therefore shall put himself on this, pray this morning that the blood of Jesus will put you. The cleansing of the blood of the Lamb will put you. The purifying blood of Jesus will put you. If a man therefore shall put himself, 
He shall be a vessel of the honor. Come upon the Lord. The and the Lord of Jesus Christ to call to put your arm, to put your soul, and put your spirit. It's a man that must have put his name. I get to put yourself from all defilement. Put your heart from all pollution. Put your mind from all corruption. Put your soul, put your conscience from dead work. If a man there was a fool in day, he shall be a vessel unto honor. This is the time for you to pray and allow the efficacy of the blood of Jesus to pour you, to cleanse you. This prayer is a prayer for preparation for the kingdom of God. Why can't you pray this morning? Allow God to work in your life. Allow the blood of Jesus to do his work in your life. Oh Lord, bought me. Oh Lord, bought me. The blood of Jesus bought me. The Lord will touch you. He cleanse you. He purified you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are still praying. I want to announce to you. This prayer point I am giving you this money is a million dollars prayer point. Hallelujah. Because I this, 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 these are prayers, these are prayers that we that we get us ready for the coming of the Lord. These are prayers that we qualify us, that we restore the glory of God into our lives. That is why we are still praying on this prayer point before we, before we shift to on, on another prayer point. The psalmist were asking another question. That is Psalm 15. I will read it. I will read it to you. You just listen. The psalmist was asking the Lord a, 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 an important question, and the psalmist was saying to the Lord, Lord, who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? And the Lord told him, the set of people that we abide, he that walketh upright and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that abides not with his tongue, nor dwells evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up his reproach against his neighbor. He now says, Who, he now asks again, the second time, he says, God, who shall ascend into the ear of the Lord? Who, who shall abide in thy tongue? In the holy place, the Lord man say, He that has a clean hand and a pure heart. A clean hand and a pure heart. My brethren, mm. is our heart pure enough for heaven? My sister, is your heart pure enough? My brother, is your heart pure? He that has a clean hand and a pure heart. Mm. Blessed and a pure in heart, for that I see God. You are going to pray that God will cleanse your heart and give you a pure heart. To give you a holy heart. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord to give you a pure heart. A holy heart. Let the blood of Jesus sanctify your heart. Pause your heart. Give the heart a clean heart and a pure heart. Oh God, watch my heart. Oh God, that was that my heart. Oh God, purify my heart. Oh God, cleanse my heart. He that had a clean heart and a pure heart, all upon the Lord, and the Lord will rain upon your life. That your heart will be pure, free from every stain, free from every sin, free from every unrighteousness, free from every every corruption, free from every pollution. He that had a clean heart and a pure heart. Is your heart pure? Is your thought pure? Is your feeling pure? Is your imagination pure? Is that a clean heart and a pure heart? Call upon the Lord. The Lord will give you a clean heart, a pure heart, a pure heart. That holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Righteousness in your life, holiness in your life, purity in your life, godliness in your life, victory in your life, authority in your life, power in your life, purity and power. That have a clean heart, your heart. But then you have the Lord, and the Lord will watch your heart, watch your thoughts, watch your imagination. Give me your heart, for you to control your heart, oh Lord, we don't want to keep in our lives. Father, my God, 
we are we want this fire to become the one in the name of the Lord. Let us go to the we are united. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I still, I still repeat myself. This prayer request we are praying is a million dollars prayer, prayer request. The Bible, the Bible says, the Bible says, and the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. My brother, my sister, listen to me before you pray. This prayer online is a, is a big sacrifice for some of us here. It's a big sacrifice. If we look at the time, so the, 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 the time is different. As we also have to sacrifice our time, sacrifice everything to be on this prayer online. I want you, I want you to know something. Without love for God, without giving God, hardly we can do this. But when the love of God is there, and that is why most people are telling the children of Israel, the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart. And when that it happens, you shall know the Lord your God with all your heart. You are going to pray that the Adamic nature you brought into this world, let the blood of Jesus oppose it out of your heart. Let the blood of Jesus sanctify you and oppose the Adamic nature out of your heart. The Lord thy God will circumcise your heart. Pray and ask the Lord to circumcise your heart so that you will love God with all your heart. Open to your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will circumcise your heart. The blood of Jesus will purify your heart this morning. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come upon the Lord. Let it pour your heart and purify your heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Many Christians do not know the importance of the blood of Jesus. Only few people know the importance of that blood. The majority of Christians always think that the blood of Jesus is to cover them and protect them and then shield them. It is true, but it is more than that. Other people use the blood of Jesus Christ as a defensive weapon. It is true, but it's more than that. Other people use the blood of Jesus Christ to attack the kingdom of darkness. It is true, but it is more than that. Listen to this one. Listen to this. The Bible says, Wherefore, Jesus also, that he may sanctify the people Come with his own blood. Come over. I have some cake for you later. Right. With his own So far without the king. You are going to pray that the blood of Jesus will Thank sanctify you. you. Hello. As the blood of Jesus will sanctify you. Therefore, Jesus also suffer without the gates that he may sanctify his people with his own blood. You are going to pray this morning. You are going to ask the blood of Jesus Christ to sanctify your heart. Plead the blood to sanctify your heart. Plead the blood to sacrifice your heart. Call upon the Lord and ask the Lord to sanctify you with his blood. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is authority and dominion in that blood. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Let the blood of Jesus sanctify you. 
all of the Lord, who spoke out with every gate, that he may satisfy you, O Lord, all of the Lord, the blood of Jesus will satisfy your heart, of your heart, purify your heart, all of the Lord, all of the Lord, all of the Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says, Hey, this, this, is, this is great. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. Now, the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the, of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect. Make you perfect. Make you perfect. Make you perfect. In every box you are going to pray. You ask the Lord to make the approval of Jesus Christ make you perfect. That God make me perfect. Perfection. Perfection in my life. Perfection. Perfection in the work of my hands. Perfection. Perfect every area of my life. Act with the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. And the blood of Jesus to perfect you in every area of your life. Pray and call upon the Lord. The blood of Jesus will perfect you in every area of your life. Pray and call upon the Lord. The blood of Jesus will perfect you in every area of your life. Make you perfect in all every good works. The efficacy of the blood, the power of the blood, make you perfect in every good works. Call upon the Lord. The blood of Jesus will make you perfect in every good work. The power of the blood is available. The authority of the blood is available. The blood of Jesus will make you perfect. It will every good work. It will every good work. It will every good work. Call upon the Lord. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, make you perfect in every good work. Make you perfect for the everlasting work. Hey. The blood of Jesus is available. Flowing this money to make everyone in the house perfect. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are we tired? No. Why? I want to hear people, soldiers of Jesus, praying and preparing, preparing their soul for heaven. It's like, it's like we are not praying. If if we not pray, pray of deliverance, pray of healing, pray of life. Pray so people be praying and shouting. These are prayers that will make us qualify for the kingdom of God. I want you to put more zeal, more, more, more strength, and more fire in your prayer. As you pray, the devil will run away from your life, from your church, from your family, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, it is God that worketh in you. Both to we and to do is good pleasure. You are going to pray this prayer that only goes power work in my life. The power of God overtake over my life. Overtake over my heart and work in my heart and work in my life. Don't put my brain. Don't put my brain. It's God that forget it. Both to we and to do is good pleasure. Call upon the Lord that God will work in your life. Only God will work in your life. Oh God will work in my life. Oh God will work in my life. Work in my life. It is God that forget in you. Both to we and to do is good pleasure. The Holy Ghost will get off. In your life, walk in the Lord, walk in the Lord. Therefore, begin to walk in your heart, walk in your life. It is God that walks in you, both of me and to do His good blessings. Both of me and to do His good blessings. Let's ask the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord. Oh Lord, walk in my heart. Oh Lord, walk in my heart. It is God that walks in you, both of me and to do. Is good pleasure in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let it be cut to walk in your mouth. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want I want you to listen to this. Listen very well. Listen very well. As a family man, you have children. And you, and you call your children to go and work for you. 
You send the errands. They obey you. They, they went and they go for that errand. You are very happy. God Almighty is our Father. And the Lord expects us to evangelize, to go out for visitation, to go out for evangelism. As the year is coming to an end, do you have any fruit? Do you have any soul to present to the Lord at the end of the year? And this is why we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to pray. The Bible says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in, the, in my name, he may do it. Oh God, make me fruitful. For the Amen. remaining days, for the remaining days of this year, oh God, make me fruitful. Open your mouth and pray. Fruitfulness in your life. Open your mouth and pray. Evangelism of so many in your life. Oh God, let me fruitful. The year is going to end. Any sort of present to the Lord. Do I have any comfort? Do I have any when I am pulling off? Do I have any when I am walking off? Oh God, let me fruitful. Take away spirit of barrenness away from my life. God has ordained you. God has chosen you to bear fruit. The fruit of evangelism. He has ordained you to bear fruit. The fruit of so winning you. He has not chosen you, but I have chosen you, and I have chosen you that he should go and bear fruit. That your fruit should remain. Oh, give me souls. Give me souls. John, John Lord. Yes, I die. Call upon the Lord. Ask the Lord. The Lord will make you a soul winner. The Lord will make you a soul winner. A soul winner for Jesus. A soul winner for the kingdom of God. God will make you a soul winner. That we always be a fruit and bring fruit into the kingdom of God. We are praying in the hour of prayer. We are praying in the hour you need to put to God in prayer. Lord God Almighty, we make you a soul winner. A soul winner for Jesus. A soul winner that will be a fruit for his kingdom. A soul winner. If this not bad, this will be taken out of your land. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. The year is going to an end. Do you have any souls to present to the Lord? The year is going to an end. The Lord's power will be back to life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. That you should go and bring forth fruit. You are going to ask the Lord, Oh God, advertise your power in my life. Oh God, multiply your power in my life. Oh God, advertise your power in my life so that I can bring fruit into your kingdom. Open your mouth and pray right now. Call upon the Lord. The God advertise His power in your life. In the name of Jesus. The God advertise His power in your life. Be a carrier of God's authority. Be a carrier of God's authority. In the name of Jesus. Be a carrier of God's authority.
We are praying for purifying of the earth, God that sanctified the heart of the people. You need power in that vessel. You need authority in your vessel. You need anointing in your vessel. No wonder Paul the Apostle, listen, listen to this, listen before you pray, listen. Paul the Apostle, the Bible says, and it came to pass that when, when Apollos was at, at Corinth, and Paul, having passed through the upper coast, he came to Ephesus, and he finds certain disciples. And he said unto them, As ye received the Holy Ghost, they see believe. And they said unto, unto him, We have not so much as had whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto, unto what day were ye baptized? And they said unto John the Baptist, they said, Paul, oh, John truly baptized you with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, who should come after him, that is, of Jesus Christ. And when he lay stand upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they speak with boldness, they speak with other tongues, and they prophesy. This morning you will prophesy. This Amen. morning power, power will enter into your life. This morning Amen. authority will enter into your life. This morning Amen. dominion will enter into your life. But Amen. you need the power of the Holy Ghost. You are going to pray. If you have not yet baptized, tell God to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. If you have baptized already, tell God to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Hope you want to pray right now. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. You need the Holy Ghost in your life. You need the Holy Ghost in your life. And you receive the Holy Ghost. If you are not yet baptized in the Holy Ghost, ask the Lord to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. If you are baptized for the, in the Holy Ghost, then the Lord will feed you with the Holy Ghost. That will enrich you with the Holy Ghost. Empower you with the Holy Ghost. Anoint you with the Holy Ghost. That you receive the Holy Ghost. Receive your need. Do you have the Holy Ghost inviting you? The Holy Ghost in your life. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Have you received the Holy Ghost? This is the time for the Holy Ghost. As the Lord and the Lord of glory and power will come to your land. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost fall upon you. Let the Holy Ghost saturate your heart. Let the Holy Ghost take over your land, take over your being, take over your thoughts, take over your mind. And dear, receive the Holy Ghost with the same beliefs. As you receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the same you believe. Holy Ghost of my Holy Ghost to make the life of the Lord. Holy Ghost to the Holy Ghost your life. Holy Ghost is part of your Holy Ghost to your Holy Ghost to be your life. 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 Holy Ghost to be Amen. We are going to pray once again for everyone online this morning or this afternoon. For Africa, is for Nigeria, is the afternoon. Those in the United States this morning. So we are going to pray for everyone online this afternoon or this morning. We are going to pray one prayer that for the remaining days of this year, for the remaining days of this year, every plot of the devil against you and your family, you are going to pray God will destroy all the plot of the devil against your life. Open your heart and pray. Open your heart and pray. Open your heart and pray. Every plot of the devil against you and your life, and your family, ask the Lord will destroy all the plot of the devil. All the of the 
we pray. Amen. I had last year, last year, December 34th, December 34th, a minute to cross to the new year. That is where somebody keep up. The person died. He died. Just a minute to see New Year. I mean, last year. You we are going to pray for yourself again. Something dead, I curse it in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You and your family. 2019, you shall cross over to 2020 in Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to pray for yourself, for your life, for your family. Every premature death and time against you and your household, or sudden death and time against you and your household, take authority and cancel it. Take authority and destroy it. In the name of Jesus, take authority and destroy it. You shall not stand against it. You shall end all this year with me. You you before we take our prayer request, I want to give you some prayer point to pray once again. This is a prayer now of deliverance, offensive weapon and defensive um, weapon we are using now. The Bible says, and the Lord shall deliver you from every evil work. Amen. 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 Now, Amen. I'm going to pray. Every evil work projected in your house, Amen. all upon the Lord will deliver you. 
Listen to me. Jesus asked 12 disciples. Out of the 12 disciples, one of them was not able to go through a backslide. Paul the apostle asked a cold neighborer, one is Demas. Demas was not able to go through. Demas also backslide. You are going to pray. The, in that portion I read to you, the latter part of that portion says, and he will preserve you into his everlasting kingdom. No backsliding in our midst. No backsliding in anybody's life in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord shall deliver you from every evil work. We have prayed that already. Amen. In the part he said, he said, and he will preserve you into his everlasting kingdom. You Amen. are going to pray that God will preserve your life. Preserve you in his kingdom. Uphold you with his right kind of righteousness. You will make heaven. You will finish well. You will run well. Oh, you must have prayed. Oh, you must have prayed. Let God uphold you with his right hand. Let God uphold you with his right hand. You will finish well. You will run well. 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 well. You Father Lord, I call upon you. Father Lord, have me, have me. In your kingdom, Father Lord, don't leave me, oh Father. Do I see all the fight my man in my life. Father Lord, I will take it away. Father Lord, I will no matter what the time may be. Father Lord, help me to stand so. God, help me to stand so. Father Lord, help me and remember me in your kingdom. Remember me in your kingdom. Father Lord, 
Lord, I say, take it away from my life. Take it away from my life. And help me, Father, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our time, our time is running out. It's running out. Pastor, Pastor Matthew, do we have a prayer, a prayer request? Uh, we have a prayer request. The person said, uh, this is from Kogi in Nigeria. He said, I need fresh fire in my life, and I'm more than sufficient to settle my death. So, uh, uh, okay. I, uh, yeah. okay. Okay. We are going to pray. We are going to pray that God will defend his fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost will fall upon him. Every time in his life, in our life, we fall into it. If I come again for this day, all three of us are pray. Fire, <laughs> In his life, then the Holy Ghost called and fell upon the heart of God. He gave him the call of the Lord on his heart. He went God to renew his data man. He went God to set him to set him on fire for, for the kingdom of God. In the fresh fire inside his bone, inside his life, all upon the Lord, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost come and fell upon his life, upon our life. we are still praying for this writer before the second prayer request. This we are still praying for, for him or for her. He said, God should provide all his need to settle his death or her death. Mm. We are yes. going to pray. All the, all the needs he or she may be having, ask the Lord to provide all those needs for him or her. All upon the Lord. All the any other prayer request for Sir Matthew? Uh, we have another prayer today from the same Kogi again, but from another different person. The, uh, I don't want to mention name, but the person said, please pray for my state. Kogi says that the Lord God Almighty should take total control of Saturday election. Can okay. I read it again? Okay, sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. He, he said, please pray for my state. Kogi says that the Lord God Almighty should take total control of Saturday election. I think they are having oh. government election there today. 
Okay. Okay. We are going to pray for that uh, Kogi State election that God will take absolute control. The election will not be ruined. My time is going out, but before I round up this prayer section, we must pray for the church in Charlotte Church over there in the United States. Tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday. Jesus started tomorrow, tomorrow morning. We are going to pray. We are going to pray tomorrow. All our members in that church that have stopped coming. The Holy Ghost will remind them to come here tomorrow morning. Amen. We are going to pray that all the obstacles will take obstacles away from their lives. And the Holy Ghost will bring all of them to come to tomorrow worship service in that place. we pray. Amen. General, we are going to pray now. All those are members online that are always with us online. And those who are not online today, any of them that have family challenges, let's ask God to settle those challenges in their family. Let's also pray for bachelors and sisters who are looking for husbands and those who are looking for wives. Let's pray, God, we connect them to the form of their bones. The flesh of their flesh. God, we give them good husbands, good wives. Let's communicate to the Lord. Those who have been waiting for God, oh, God, is my husband. Let's survive. Let's give up God. We give them the form of their bones. The flesh of their flesh. God, we give them to the form of their bones. Let's give them 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 the form of their Ah, Holy Ghost, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because, because already the time is up. But I, I perceive the spirit of prayer is upon your people. Amen. 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 The Holy Ghost is in the house. And I want, I want somebody to help us round up this prayer this morning or this afternoon. Anybody to help us round up the prayer for us.
from part four, part three, four. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this privilege you have given to us. Amen. To gather together in your name and to pray in fellowship. Thank you, Lord, because you are the almighty God. Yes. With you, there is nothing that is impossible. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, because you are a faithful God. Yes. Whatever you have said, you can do. Yes. Whatever you said, you will do. Yes, Lord. And you have told us in your word that if we call upon your name, you will hear and you answer us. Amen. Glory be to your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, this morning we have called up to you. Yes. We have come as you have been coming because each time we come, we see your hand. Amen. Because you have also encouraged us to keep coming because you have committed to do more than we are asking from you. Amen. And so this morning Amen. we have come again and we have laid our petitions before you. Amen. But as we are rounding up now, we are, we are grounding up with the confidence that all that we have asked of you this morning shall be done for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But as your children, Lord, we have looked up to you. Without you, we are nothing. Yes. We need your power in our lives. Mm-hmm. Amen. We need your presence with us. Amen. Father, we need your hand in every situation of our lives. Amen. Father, visit us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning, we have asked, Lord, that you should purge us. You should help us to live a pure and clean life continuously. Amen. Because it's only through that that your life and your life sh- shall radiate through us to the world. It's only through our living pure and clean life that the world will be attracted to you through us. Father, Amen. help us in this area, every one of us, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, our, your purpose of calling us is to prepare us for your kingdom. Amen. Lord, we pray that none of us will look back in Jesus' name. Amen. None of us will look back in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we are praying. We need your power. Without yes. your power, oh Lord, we, we, can, we, we are nothing. We are nothing. And so, Lord, mm. this morning as you have prayed, asking for your power, Father, visit all of us with your power in Jesus' name. Amen. And as you visit us, every need, every problem in our individual lives, in our family lives, Father, remove them in Jesus' name. Amen. We have committed your church in Charles Island to you. Lord, we are praying, oh God, the Bible says that you will build your church. And the gate of hell will not be able to prevail against it. Amen. Lord, we lift up the branch in, of the, your church in Charles Island to you. Father, build Amen. it in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, help you build this church in Jesus' name. Amen. And every gate of hell that is contending against his progress, is contending against his growth now, Father, pull them down in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All your ministers that are, and your laborers in this vineyard unto you. Father, strengthen them to war and to conquer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Through this church, oh Lord, through this church, the whole of Charlottesville will get to know you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 That you bring laborers into the vineyard from the Amen. east, from the west, from the north, and from the south. Bring them Amen. into this church to build your church in Jesus' name. Amen. And all the, all the resources that are needed, oh Lord, you will provide in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Lord. We cover every one of us with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And we pray that the blood will speak for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace together. The Lord, the Lord of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with them now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall go to the heart of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. See you on Thursday. Thank you. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Amen.
Oh, <laughs> 